How do you go from $68 to $20? Three batches just popped up. Um, but they're not good. What's going on guys? It's your boy AB and we back with another one. Um, it is the morning time. It's 8.30 right now. Um, I did accept my order about 30 minutes ago, so they did just text me saying that you need to start your batch. So, um, we are at Sam's Club right now. Um, we are on a $68 batch, y'all. It is a three order batch. Um, it is, it does have a little mile on it, a little mileage on it, maybe like 20 miles on it. Um, but it's for $68. Um, it's probably for 33 units. Um, it's not bad at all. Um, we're about to go in here and knock it out, you already know. We about to run it up today. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I'm making my next video. Um, let's go, let's get it started. We about to go into Sam's Club right now. You can't see Sam's Club, but we about to go in there right now and get it popping. Let's go. Two hours later. Bruh, $20. <laughs> $20. How do you go from $68 to $20? On Instacart. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything wrong. They couldn't give me the order back because it's back in the cloud. They couldn't give me no comp more compensation because they could only do $10. Bro, you can only do $10 then you can only do 10 more dollars. And 10 more because you need to do it three times because you fucked up my host. <laughs> I need $30. I need $20 off this. Y'all fuck up. Y'all fucked up. And I told the lady who I talked to before, I talked to the person who canceled the wrong order, to fire that person who canceled the wrong order because that nigga need to be fired. Like, how do you do that? You don't do no follow-up questions. I say, I need to cancel order C because the, I don't, they don't have the items that they wanted. He's like, okay, give me two to three minutes. Cancel the wrong order. Bro, you can't do that. You need to ask, ask, ask follow-up questions if you're confused. You shouldn't be confused because you should ask questions. That's your fucking job to ask questions and assess the situation. He didn't assess shit. He just said, I got you. Boom, wrong order. Ugh. Back in the cloud. What am I, what? $20. How long was I doing that? For an hour and a half. $20 for an hour and a half of work. I shopped for the whole order and they canceled it. All right, y'all, so we are back at Sam's Club, and we are never calling customer service again. Just picked up a $45 order. It's only for like 14 items. It is going 22 miles, the four items, um, which is cool. I don't care, it's only four items. It's only 10 items. It's only going 40, 22 miles, I think, and it's $45. So that's decent miles to item ratio monies so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna brush that first order off and we're gonna continue to have a good day all right let's go all right you guys we are done with that shop i want to say it took maybe about 20 minutes um the first drop off is 13 minutes away let's go all right, you guys, so I just finished that last order, and I mean, it was pretty, pretty easy order, but um, I said it was for 45. I ended up getting 41.65. Um, did have to make a couple of replacements and stuff like that. Stupid. Um, I ended up getting, oh, it was an hour and a half, or it did take an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so I got $41 in an hour and 20 minutes. Um, could have been better, but I feel like I just the drive was a little far So I feel like this could have been a better order though Like some the last customer B who lives the farthest away only tipped six dollars So, you know People need to tip more and stuff like that. So um, Now we're waiting for our next order. I will see you guys in a second. Stay tuned All right, y'all so on my way back from Lancaster um, I got another order for Kroger, uh, $45. Um, this order is pretty interesting because, of course, it got it got heavy pay on there, but I didn't see how much other else. I didn't see how much the tip or anything was, but 
it's not that many miles it's probably like five miles but it has you know a bunch of pop on it has like two cases of pop three cases of pop three cases of pop three cases of pop two cases of san pellegrino and then it just got multiples of other things so yeah that's cool i guess um and then it's a small order for order a um and it's for 45 dollars um this is not the kroger that they want me to go to but i'm gonna go to this kroger because i'm here and we're gonna shop for this order so i'm pulling in now i will see you guys in a second all right you guys so we are done with that a batch we're done shopping with that batch um, the first customer is 15 minutes away and I just want to um, tell you guys how very important it is to go to the right cashier line this Kroger was very busy today and they did have a lot of cashiers open and the lines were long so I got in line behind someone who I thought was gonna be fast and they usually are fast, but the customers in the line were not fast. First lady had coupons, the second lady had, you know, actually the second lady was cute, but the third lady ended up, you know, taking a long time, adding an extra 10 minutes to my checkout time. So you got to really choose your cashiers and your checkout lines wisely, because let me tell you something. I was done maybe like 20, 25 minutes shopping. And then I freaking got in line and it was another 15, 20 minutes um, or so. So you got to be careful where you go in your checkout and check out accordingly. Um, first customer is 15 minutes away. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I'm making my next video. It's your boy AB. Let's go. We're on our way. All right, y'all. So we just dropped off that last order. In that batch, um, I did indeed get uh, $40.14 for that order. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes. I had one refund and two replacements. So them two replacements and that one refund took away $2 basically from my tip, which is ridiculous. I just don't get it, but uh, we're now at 102.63 for today. It is 12.42. Um, I just got done with a batch, so I'm not going to be able to see a batch immediately after. So, unfortunately, we do have to wait for a second. I usually try to, like, uh, kill the app and shit like that, but I still come back to no batches, which don't make no sense. So, yeah, man, we are out here right now. I might end the day early just because it's a Thursday, and it might not be that busy, but I feel like every day is busy. You just got to know win the shop i don't know i feel like you just get lucky with the batches you got to be on here all day like scanning all day boom scanning all day like don't take your eyes off of the screen um right now it's saying that there's no batches available um so i'm about to head home um i am going to be doing a film in a mukbang today so um stay tuned for the mukbang and yeah make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell um see you soon boom you guys so we just got another order um it is for i want to say 40 dollars. i think it was for 40 dollars. it's a two order batch um they wanted me to go to the kroger on broad street but of course i'm going to go to whatever kroger is closer to me so i went to the kroger um actually i'm at my kroger so <laughs> the first order is 25 items uh, 33 units the second order is eight items 11 units let's go in here and knock this out really fast 20 minutes is always my goal in and out like a fast food restaurant let's go all right y'all so we just got done shopping for that order it is now 143 we are on our way to the first drop off they are 15 minutes away turn up let's go all right, y'all, we just got done dropping off that last batch. I did end up getting $40.36 for that last batch. It did take me an hour and 17 minutes. <gasps> Ooh, that brings me to $142.99 for the day. Um, I've worked five hours and a half, five and a half hours. <laughs> but make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will see you guys soon. Alright you guys, it is the next day. It is Christmas Eve. Um, it is 11 o'clock and we are at Sam's Club. We did get a kind of a late start today. Um, I was pretty tired. Um, I did manage to start my app at around uh, 7 or 7.30 or 8 o'clock. 
um, but I didn't get an order until 10 o'clock so um, we're on our first order of the day it is for $51 I believe it was only about um, 13 items it is for 16 items 21 units or 24 units so we're about to get in here and shop really fast um, this parking lot is the busiest busiest I've ever seen um, the all year so this is gonna be interesting let's get in here let's see what it's gonna be hopefully the lines aren't too crazy but let's hopefully we can get everything on the list and we can get out of here and get all of the $51 um, two order batch let's go all right you guys we just got done shopping for that sam's club order it did actually take me like 20 minutes to get in and out um only because of the few items that i was getting and the lines were not that long surprisingly um the parking lot is full and you do have to get your carts in the parking lot in the corrals because they don't got nothing in there but it wasn't too busy for some reason but for, for, for real i feel like a lot of people were waiting for the rotisserie chickens and the rotisserie chickens um they weren't ready yet so they were there was a long line at the rotisserie chicken of people waiting for rotisserie chicken like y'all precious but <laughs> the first drop off is 10 minutes away um we are on our way to drop this off and continue our day let's go all right you guys so we just dropped off that last order um, I did indeed get 5126 for that. Um, now I don't have any batches on my screen. Like I said, I always gotta wait at least 30 to a minute to, for me to see another freaking order on my screen. I'm glad that that turned out well. She um, said I can go ahead and replace things with, th with what I wanted. Like go ahead and replace it with whatever you feel. I'm like, okay girl, I got you. Don't worry, don't trip. It's gonna be legit. Boom, bada bing. In and out like a fast food restaurant. We waiting for the next one. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can notify when I'm making my next video and stay tuned see you later all right y'all so as soon as I get to my house and I pull up and I literally walk in the house and I shut the door I put my keys down I turn my phone back on and I look and it's a $45 order on there for 45 items I want to say uh, three orders um, I think it's going like maybe seven miles. I mean, we just about to go ahead and knock this out real quick. I'm at my Kroger just pulled up. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I didn't look at the orders. Um, it is at Kroger. So I'm just going to figure, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's at Kroger. It's not going to be too crazy. It's Kroger. So I'll see you guys in a second. Let's see how long it takes me to get out of here. It is 1218. Um, turn up. Let's go. All right, y'all, so that took way longer than expected, but it was to be expected just because it's, it's Christmas Eve. So the lines were so long, it took me an extra 30 minutes to get out of there when I got done shopping. Um, my shop time was at 40 minutes. I'll say it was at 40 minutes because I ended at one o'clock. I got here at 12.20. So my shop time was 40 minutes. My checkout time was 30 minutes. So that's an hour and 10 minutes already. And I'm not sure if I like that, um, especially with um, just how long it takes to get out of there it tends to make the order not worth it anymore and so um, I don't know I don't know if this is gonna be my last order for the day but I'll definitely keep looking and scrolling through the list and and you know if there's a nice order I'll pick it up but this might be my last one for the day um, I will um, the first customer is only three minutes away um, I will be back with you guys after and I'll let you guys know what's going on all right y'all so we are done with that order i did pull back up at my house because i dropped off that last order right down the street from my house literally two three minutes away so i'm coming home <laughs> um of course i don't see any batches on my screen right now because i just ended a batch so there's no batches gonna be on my screen right now so that was a three order batch a three order batch uh, for kroger's the mileage was not bad at all i told you i did take extra long because the lines were long and it's so busy today so that order was for 42.88 um customer or customer a tip went up uh, like five cents and customer C tipped the most um, at $25 yeah so that was that order I did do two orders today I'm at $94 and 14 cents for the day three hours worth of work so that's about $31 an hour I mean pretty good so far um, I will keep it on um, throughout the day and see up oh, three batches just popped up 
um, but they're not good. I will keep it on for throughout the day and maybe go do another one, but I might call it a day just because um, the lines and the stores are just so crazy. Just driving around is just so crazy. I'm not really trying to deal with all that. I did make almost make $100 a day. That's my first goal. Um, so that's always good. But I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. But if not, it's your boy AB. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that mother truck and notification bell so you can notify when I'm making my mother truck in the next video on gang. I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.